advise our applications team from NASA, and we invite you to create a work of SART, aka Synthetic Aperture Radar Art. Your challenge, should you choose to accept it, is to submit an original piece of SART work that helps to highlight what radar imagery is capable of. We will be using Synthetic Aperture Radar, or SAR data, in preparation for an exciting new mission called NISAR sent to launch in early 2024 from NASA and ISRO, the Indian Space Agency. This is a unique opportunity to be involved in promoting all that NISAR will be able to do in the coming years. Step one is to review the list of recommended data sources from this challenge and download SAR data from a region of your choice. Step two is to let your imagination run wild. Create any form of digital art. It could be an image, 3D model, music, the sky's the limit, which can also be said for our radar instruments. And step three is to submit your SART work on a public domain for a chance to be one of the final Space Apps Challenge winners. For a bit of inspiration, let's take a look at this animation of how NISAR will use synthetic aperture radar to create high spatial resolution images of the Earth's surface. And now here are some examples to spark your creativity. These are postcards downloaded from NASA's Airborne Radar UAV SAR using pulsar imagery to highlight different radar polarizations or channels. This allows you to highlight different features on the ground, such as open water, roads, and vegetation. And here's another example of a 3D model video. The visualization shows over 10 years of deformation on the Hawaii Big Island and also captures activity from the Kilauea volcano, which erupted in June 2018. Now, passing the mic over to Elodie for a few more examples. This challenge is not only a chance for you and your team to showcase its artistic talents, but also a wonderful opportunity to educate your community on how the science of SAR data can be helpful to them. An amazing capability of SAR is that it can be used to observe natural disasters and their impacts, regardless of cloud cover. For example here, SAR data was used for the detection of flooded areas in Bangladesh. It can also be used to monitor activity like the growth of a new lava dome inside a crater and where the volcanic flows and ash were spread out during the eruption. This is all done looking at time series of the intensity of the SAR signal to detect surface changes. Another example here is to look at the inflation and deflation of a volcano, which is caused by the movements of the magma underneath and inside it. This can help people understand when an eruption might be coming. And to measure the vertical displacements of the surface, the technique of SAR interferometry is being used. It looks at the differences in the phase of the radar waves returning to the satellite between two SAR images. The destruction caused by an earthquake can be catastrophic, and SAR data can help find the damaged buildings before the dust settles. It looks at the points of similarities between SAR images captured before and after the earthquake. This is called SAR coherence, and in this case, the loss of coherence indicates that a building has been damaged. But SAR isn't just useful for natural disasters. It can also help communities better understand and manage their resources. For example, SAR data can help farmers improve their crop yield by looking at ground properties like soil moisture. It can even help monitor groundwater reservoirs by looking at surface movements like here in the basin of Los Angeles in California. Your work of SART will help to highlight the wide range of applications for SAR data, and by posting it onto an open source channel, you have a chance to share your knowledge and help educate the general public on the benefits of SAR. And with the upcoming launch of the NISAR mission in early 2024, your work will be more relevant than ever, and you could possibly even be showcased during this historic event. We can't wait to see what you will create. Good luck and more importantly, have fun.